Hello, Miles. Hello, Matthew. Uh, this is Disney Infinity. Welcome to the magic of Disney Infinity. Uh, it's a Disney game. Why is it? Why it's is in. It? It's infinity. Infinity. Well, it's yeah. Infin. Infi. In. Because you're in the game. Because there are there are things in this game. That's why it says. In. So wait, are you a character in the game? Is that what they're implying? No, no. There are things in this game. There are things in the game. That's why it says in. And the in is kind of its logo. Who'd have known it? Uh, anyway. This, and then there's the Incredibles. Incredibles, and there's Monsters University, too. Monsters University and the Pinrits. The p -rots. Uh, anyway. This toy box. Wait, we have a toy box. Yeah, so we'll get to that in a different video. Okay. Uh, but we're going to go through the starter kit playsets, I guess. Woohoo! So, I have a portal here. Uh, it has... Actually, I'm going to move this portal. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Back to where we originally, we originally had it. Had it. Uh, so I may the the mic, I may sound louder at times because I'm moving around. That's okay. Uh, so basically, we have these toys here. I have Jack Sparrow, Sully from Monsters Inc., and it looks like Mr. Incredible over there. Mr. Incredible, yeah. Now I, I find it kind of deceiving because those arms on these characters, these are little figurines, by the way. They they look like they should move. Yeah. So you can see right there is that he's yeah, got kind of right there. He too. should. I mean, he does move them in the game. And then there's there's Super Saiyan J Vegeta over there. I forget that dude's name in the movie. Oh, uh, it's SS J Four Vegeta. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so there's Vegeta versus Mr. Incredible. It's a great crossover. Uh, and I, I think we'll just jump in. Okay. Uh, so I've, I've played the beginnings of all of these. I played about an hour of Monsters University because I like that the best. You like um, you like the scholarly world of Monsters University. Exactly. And uh, so I just put Mr. Incredible on the kind of base thing, and then it kind of lit up ah, underneath. Yeah, it's some. flashing. Uh, and then I jump into this. So you have to do that before you hop into any game, right? Uh, well, let's take him off. Oh, God. What's going to happen? Are we going to break the game? Uh... Probably, yeah. It'd probably be like, hey, man. Also, what is that? Uh, oh, wait, that's... Uh, that is a... Um, Davy Jones, right? That guy. Yes, that is Davy Jones. With a bl blunderbust. So you can go and buy more figurines and put them into the game. Okay, so we just... Oh, please place it. Okay, I'll yeah, do that's it. that's what happens. And Mr. Incredible teleports there. Cool. Saying. But... There we go. But if I take Mr. Incredible off... Uh, and then put in back. Jack Sparrow... I mean, Guess what happens? You can't do that. Ah, no, that's the incorrect it says, thing. it says nope. You see, that would have been cool if you could actually like cross uh, summon different characters in that universe. I completely agree with you. Uh, that is probably the game's biggest downfall. It's going to have to come out in DLC, I suppose. But, uh, no, I, I don't think they'll ever do that. They're, no. It's just them being protective of their licenses, which is kind of dumb. So this, this really does look like toys. Yeah, it's all toys. I mean, like, these look like the little people from Fisher's Price or whatever they're called. Yeah, oh, wow. Um, I thought they might do the thing where it's, like, they they look how they were in the films, but nope. No, it's all, like, all toys, and uh, it's most jarring. I mean, they all look kind of cool. Um, now, you know what? It's most jarring when it's the cartoon, um, uh, you know, properties. Thing. Like, the, this is cartoon. I would call this cartoon, you know? Yeah. Uh, and... I think it's less jarring when it's, like, Jack Sparrow or The Lone Ranger. Uh, oh, God, The Lone Ranger. Yeah, that movie didn't pan out as well as some would hope. Um, is this an open world? Uh, yeah, it is, but there's no mini-map. Cool. You have kind of this uh, compass Let's go scene. shoot up some, uh, some thugs. No, we have to talk to Edna. Oh, okay. So when I first saw this movie, I didn't know if this was a man or a woman. That's based off of that one, that one woman. That one woman actress. Actor actress that female actor who i forget her real name in real life but if you saw her you'd be like wow she looks exactly like that person in real life oh i, I oh yeah i'm not sure who that is edna mode is her name though the character maybe that's her name i really don't know where that that, that actress is uh so basically she looks like. this is the toy store so basically in toy box we'll get to that later uh you place toys down and then you can make a world uh, in the playsets, uh, there are specific things you need to buy to fix bridges, to uh, buy new vehicles to get around. Uh, uh, you just drop that in there. New weapons to complete missions, and uh, it, it's... They're not used as interestingly as they are in... Uh, do I talk to her? Or? 
opening the secret base is the most important first step to defeating Syndrome. Oh, that's his name, Syndrome. Yeah, that's that's the bad guy's name. He was like this little kid that was like way into yeah. Mr. Incredible. And then he just turned his back on him. He had a he was buttered ever since that day. Oh shit. Okay. So that's the combat field. Does it feel pretty good? That guy. Uh, you know what? Uh, not particularly. Uh, I mean, like, I mean, it's not, it doesn't feel bad. You think a kid might find this appealing? Yeah, of course. Probably. Uh, I find it very appealing. Uh, but you know, I told you earlier uh, that I don't would I don't think I'd be into it like I am if this wasn't Disney. It's mostly oh hey Disney like I'm really into Disney so yeah. it, it's just that appeal you know and other than that I don't know how much it's got aside uh, I mean outside of the toy box of course uh, it's not like you can hop in a car and pick up a prostitute I I, I don't think you can nope we can't. I haven't I haven't checked that out yet nope but you can kind of play Uncharted I'll show you that we're gonna do an Uncharted segment here oh uh, yeah it's, yep it's like weird Uncharted. Jumping. Scaling. Come on, incredible. What are I you can't, doing? I can't double jump. There. I can do there this, though. Oh, oh, what? We have what to what go did I do? Little triangle thing. Cool! You made it into the hole! Something happened, right? Is it changing? Oh, I see what it's doing. Yeah, the next level? There's something on top there. So, yeah. So then, throughout the world, uh, there are these little, like, uh, you know, the quarter machines that you put in and you get a little toy. Oh, that's what that is. You get a little thing that you can now, like, customize uh, characters with or kind of put into toy box mode. It's... I like it a lot. I think it's neat. Uh, they're not just, like, shitty little, hey, collect a hundred feathers. They're, hey, collect something new for your toy box. Look at this big-ass statue. Pretty big ass statue. Thanks for erecting it, Mr. Incredible. Go get one of these. Cool. Bald. There, we I got bald. We unlocked the we unlocked baldness. We unlocked we unlocked bald. Bald. It's a common problem that's suit, suffered by many men. Suit and pocket watch. So uh this actually there are some like pretty uh obscure Disney references in, in this game. Such as with the wind and the willows? You know what that is? Uh, probably at one point in time, I know. Mr. Toad? Oh, yeah. Uh, and the Badger and all that? Yeah. Uh, they also had... Um, I mean, one thing that I found kind of weird was that... Uh, I can't remember the guy's name off the top of my head, but the the main guard from Aladdin, they just call him Agrabah Guard. <laughs> That's all he is. Basically, yeah. Agrabah Guard, guard number two. So what's this? Oh, cool. Okay, training. So, so I, I, training I can make toy. a training room now? Gotta go to our toy box. Uh. Also, the frame rate is not always the best in this game. I mean, the, before I installed the game, it was really dicey. Uh, yeah. Now that I installed it, it's a lot better, but there's also a lot of screen tearing and stuff in, in places. I hate that. Yeah, screen tearing is really distracting. That's probably one of my biggest pet peeves about games when screen tearing occurs. Gotta fix that vertical sink. Uh, vertical sink. All right, there we go. We need to right, well, uh, place that training combat. One thing I don't like is you have to sit through this dialogue before you can hit OK and then. Oh, go. what this riveting dialogue? Yeah, I mean, it, it's mostly like, hey, you need to do this, and then you do that, and do this, do that. So what did it want me to do? Uh, put down the uh, the training session. There you go, training facility. Did it? Sure. Okay. Wherever yeah, you I'll want. Drop it there, I guess. Uh, then do I want to make a prison or? Yeah, let's make a prison. Like these guys animate pretty well. Look at that. Like, it's not like like he actually backs up a bit and like. I know. The, it's a well-made game. The, the the animation technology that we have had these days it's come come a long ways from what it used to be. Yeah, definitely. It's not like hey, now I'm moving backwards. He actually has to like okay, I'm gonna back up like All a right, person. Back it up. Would. I'm a toy, but I'm Gotta still a person. Gotta back that ass up. So there we go. Training facility has been built. Cool. So we want to put it. Yeah, yeah, confetti. Yeah, and that's also cool. Like you don't have to go back and be like, "Hey, man, I got your fucking stupid flags." What's uh, happening? Right. Oh, we got these shit words coming to mess. Oh, wait, wait a no, he's. Oh, I guess because that guy trained. Hey, I be candid, darling. Your fighting techniques are a little lapsy. If 
you plan to face syndrome and survive, you need the latest <laughs> skill. But not to worry, we have found Man, who needs Ca Mr. Incredible? Yeah, exactly, right? Um, but yeah, so I have to sit through this, which sucks. And there's no minimap, so whenever I'm given the option, I always do show me. Because I don't want to go looking for whoever the hell they wanted me to find, right? Does Mr. Incredible talk, in, like, do any of these characters talk on their own? Yeah, all of Other the... than just make the, the generic noise of, like, happy or sad? Uh, no. The main characters do not uh, just, like, say random things. God. So I can pick them up and I can throw them, but I'm going to bring them over here. Congratulations! That's you a brought mission. that thing to the point. Yeah, these these missions aren't necessarily the most uh, in depth things in the world. Uh, what's gonna happen? Well, oh. children's brains are still developing. Yeah, it's Confucius. And this guy just doesn't talk. He makes noises. Look at that! It's like a Polly Pocket playset. Just folds right up. Using his super ground pound. Oh, so now I've learned this. Uh, new mechanic acquired. Cool. Here we go. <laughs> Man, completed. we are just getting so many rewards here. Good job. There we go. We get a glider now. Sweet. So yeah, this this game is ugh, that yeah, video that's really bad. It's really gross. Uh, I don't even think that's the game's fault. I think that video was put in there like that. Um, Alright, well, do we get the glider? Toy Store. Look at that. There yeah, it is. Doing it. We got the money. There we go. Okay, here's your glider. We'll just go place it right there. There we go. Like it kind of sucks. See, you heard him talk there. Just like old times. You yeah. know... Remember that glider part in The Incredibles? I actually have not seen that movie in some time. There's, there's no glider in The Incredibles. That's probably why I don't remember it. Oh, the delivery helicopter has brought you a glide pack. Samuel L. Congratulations. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson was in that movie. He was frozen. Yeah, he was frozen. Things you carry in your hands, and packs are carried on your back. All right. Cool. We'll probably have to go through this with the fucking pirates one too. Want to try a quick swap? Well, probably. No, yeah. I'm, All right, now let's go. Sw swap your thing, and then we'll get more confetti. Yes. Okay. Right on. Great. All right. Where's my confetti? Before you can glide through the air, you'll need to take the elevator. All right. Well, we gotta take the elevator then, I guess. Uh, okay. So, I actually, I, I really do. I'm, I'm enjoying my time with this, but, um. Like, like I said, if you have no affinity for Disney, you will not enjoy your time with this. Because the game is just not, like, doesn't have a lot of substance, you know what I mean? It has a lot of, hey, Disney. Also, it assumes that you haven't played any other games before. Yeah, I mean, it's Enough a kid's to, game, yeah, right? Yeah, to so. grasp the, the basic mechanics. Oh, uh, dude! Well, what was I supposed what? to do there? You didn't listen. Oh, there we go. Okay. You didn't listen well enough. I learned. Man. This game appeals to you. Well, you know, they're probably right to tell me how to do it, because I didn't listen, right? So. <laughs> Give enough of a shit. There, there we go. go. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> oh, God, not again. All right, let's try that again. Man, Matt, why don't you listen? When I uh, when I accomplish this, we will we'll skip. We'll this go reminds to the next me of that game. part in, in, in uh, Skyward Sword, where you have to jump off that friggin' high point with the the handkerchief and land on the the spot, and I couldn't get it. Oh. 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 Well done. And then dive ball. Incoming confetti. Did oh, we get it? Fuck yeah, we did. Yeah. Right. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to do that again. <laughs> All right, so that's the Incredibles. Uh. Cool. Will I will I level up? What does Sparks do? Uh, I'm gonna level up. Just to make sure. Uh, throw this guy in the water first. Oh, they yeah. Glide okay. over with him and just throw him in the water. One thing, I gotta switch out of this. Okay. Get rid of this. Yeah, there we go. I think if I hit them, no, I don't get sparks. Anyway, sparks are kind of <laughs> your experience. Uh, you hit things. I know a car will give me sparks. I hit it. Nope. I just. You just destroyed a car. 
That'd be kind of messed up if you did get, like, rewarded for destroying things. For just, like, fucking shit up. Because yeah. this is, like, a kid's thing. It's kind of teaching kids to be violent and you get rewarded. Whoa! New one spawned. Oh, yeah, so I can just drive. This is his car from the movie. Drive it! Drive but it to the water! I can just drive this. Alright, let's drive it. Actually, no, uh, the water, you just get warped back, so nothing really happens. And I'm not even no sure if we can go in the water. Alright. Yeah, it's not a hard game at all. And there, I can jump in this car. Actually, the driving thing's not too bad. There we go, water. Not oh, cool. That's sweet that he can jump that high. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that. Uh, anyway, we're going to jump out of... I'm going to save first. Because it's important to me. Okay. It's relatively quick, I think. So I notice you have this kind of like crystal looking thing on the the, uh, the portal too. What does that do? So that's the playset. Uh, so basically... Um, that one playset has... What's going on here? Oh, okay. It, what happened? What's going on? What's happening? Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I was worried there for a second. Me too. Um, so basically, that playset uh, contains Pirates of the Caribbean, Incredibles, and Monsters oh, University. Oh, so you have to have that on there if you want to... Yeah, so if I took it off... Uh, see, it's like checking the base. Uh, Nothing see. there. And then I can only do Toy Box. So if I lose this toy, wow, I'm... you're you're messed up if you if you lose that thing. Yeah, you're you're done for if you lose. Uh... Wow, if you lose the toys, you're done for, man. So I'm gonna put Sully on the base. Get us started with some Monsters University. Have you got two? You've got two of those portal things. Like, can you place two on at the same time? Yeah. So yeah. So uh, we we can show that in uh in our toy box video because I don't have like I have to go buy uh, Mike Wazowski or. Captain Barbosa or one of the Incredibles to play two player oh. in the playset. Oh. Um, but in the toy box we can just play two player. So you just yeah okay. So wait, you just can't. You can't just put on two different characters and like be in the same world and play together like that then. Yeah, I'll show you. We'll, we'll I'll throw on Captain Jack. Oh shit! It's Wreck-It Ralph. Yeah. So I'm I've been looking for a Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, figurine, I guess they're called, and. Uh, I can't find him on the internet or anything. I may just be, like, not looking hard enough, but I am, uh, I have not found him yet. But he's in this game, apparently. Well, yeah, he has to be. <laughs> I think that might be a cool world having the video game, uh, having the video game world in there. Yeah, you know, that would make Sugar, a lot of sense. And also, it's, it's, a, it's a new, um, Disney franchise. You know what, this place, uh... Needs more MUI. Let's earn some major tokens by putting MU banners on the door design school and their dorm. You know this Show thing, me. You know this place needs less talky, more playing. Oh, it's that dickhead from the movie. Yeah, so he's a villain, but he like he's even like if you go on the uh, if you go and try to buy Disney Infinity, he is in the villain pack. Uh, but he so far he and I have been uh, helping people out. I guess I don't know. It's weird. Cool. Be cool with each other. All right, where do I have to go here? It's hulking. What the hell? Oh, what the hell just happened there? Man, some real. <laughs> it's like real, like uncharted ass. Is putting jumping. Assassin's Creed to shame right here. Pretty much, yeah. This is better than Assassin's Creed Three, as oh, far yeah. as I'm concerned. Oh yeah. All right, just the tightrope. Whoa. So it's I like, do. I so grind tough. that, and it's then. Like, M.U. rocks, bro! Yeah! Our school's better than your school! So I actually really do... Uh, I, I enjoy the Monster, Monsters University one quite a bit. I, oh, no! I never got to, uh, to see that movie. Oh, I haven't seen Monsters University either. Uh, so, apparently it wasn't as good as the first one. Monsters, Monsters Inc. was pretty sweet. I've never seen that. Yeah, Monsters Inc. is, is probably one of my favorite Pixar movies. Oh, what? Alright. I'm gonna try that again. So, if Monsters is, is Pixar, does Disney have to buy out the rights to use? He's got, yeah, they uh, got it. Disney, I, I think, owns Pixar or is partners with Pixar. I'm not sure. Okay. Like, Monsters Inc. is definitely a Disney movie, though, but made by Pixar. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to get too much into the politics of that. Yeah, it's, it's weird. I mean, I know that uh, there was a time when Disney wanted to get rid of uh, Pixar. Disney is literally buying up everything right now. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, yeah, they're going to own the whole world one day. Yeah. It's going to be them battling it out with Google. 
Yeah, it's going to be Disney and Google fighting. It's going to be World War Three. It's going to be there's a Disney side and then there's a Google side. Yeah. And uh, we will have to choose a side or else you get shot yeah. in the back of the head because that's how they run shit. All right, we're back, back on the roof. Back dreams. Uh, but yeah, no, I really like Monsters, uh, Inc. I think it's... I know that Monsters University is the new Disney thing, but I think it's kind of dumb that it's Monsters University and not Monsters, Inc. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah, I think it should be Monsters, Inc. Like, it, sh it should... This should be a Monsters, Inc. playset. Not a Monsters University. Sure. Could you... Like, could you imagine, like, flying on the doors and stuff? That'd be really cool. Yeah. That'd be some... Oh, hey, look at that. I'm gonna get that. Oh, fuck. Oh. Alright, whatever. Now, the you gotta know that the, the third film is gonna be Monster's Pension Plan. Yeah. That's that's what happens after university. <laughs> no, 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 no. After university, and then they, oh, they, they, go, they, to, they go to work. They fast forward to And then they, the they retire. They got their their nice pension. I'd like that. Living, in, living the life of a, of a retired monster. You know, I would probably like that more than university. Maybe. Like retired Mike Wazowski and Sully. And then uh, Boo's all grown up. And she's, like, into drugs and stuff. She's doing all the things that regular teenagers do. Yeah, like age. like Miley Cyrus and oh, twerking. God. So I, the I, horrors, the nightmares. And then who's the real monster, then? Society. Yeah. Soci like, it all goes back to society. Yep. It's gonna be a great gripping narrative. A lot of social... Social narrative. Alright, I'm gonna I'm not gonna do this uh, this mission anymore because I don't want to climb another building. So I'm gonna go find another person. What is there to do in Monsters View? What is there to do? I don't know, man. Study? Not go to class? Yeah, there's no class. It's just like, hey, let's fuck over the other school. <laughs> well, who's the opposing school in this? So there's Monsters University, and then there's Fear Tech. Fear Tech? Oh, yeah. The technical institution of fear. Yes. Uh, so... So I have a I have this 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 thing. What's, oh wow! What it, it didn't save my my preset. That's weird. Uh, so I can take this out and. That's a toilet paper gun. Yes. So uh, we will probably see a tree at one point where I can shoot. Man, you do it. See, look at that. I look, at, look what I did to those trees. Oh, you covered them in toilet paper. Yeah, and also if you get caught doing that, Hilarious. they will chase you like GTA who will, style. Who will chase you? Uh, who are they? The this school, I guess. Like, it, there's a whole stealth mechanic to this game where you have to, like, sneak up on people and scare them. Yeah. Is it more like GTA or is it, or is it like, bully, I think? Uh, th yeah, this this has definitely a, this definitely has a bully vibe to it. Yeah. I'm gonna talk to Randall. What? I've located the student who knows where Terry and Terry are. Sneak up and scare him so he'll tell you what he knows. Okay. See, this guy is supposed to be a villain and he's helping me find my friends. really hard to sneak up on. Sounds like a... And that's Steve. That's supposed to be Steve Buscemi. Like that's, that is no, I mean like no. He's oh wait, no, he played him in the movie. Yeah, right. Yeah. So he he's a fake Steve Buscemi. He's a Steve Buscemi ripoff. And this is a fake John Goodman. But I would not be surprised if they if it was actually Billy, uh, what what Billy, <sighs> the guy who does the Oscars a lot. Uh, the oh Billy Crystal. Billy Crystal. I would not be surprised. Be surprised. Oh what the, the fuck? That guy scared me, man. Oh! You're, again! You know what? Kick his ass! I'm tired of your shenanigans, Mr. Monster. So I'm supposed to sneak up on him. I know there's a, a particular actor who gets cast uh, that sounds similar to John Goodman. and uh, he This, gets this guy does not sound similar to John Goodman. Oh, must must not be that actor I'm referring to, then. Uh, yeah, he... But I mean, like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was Billy Crystal, because when was the last time you saw Billy Crystal in a movie? I saw him. I saw him at that. Uh... I saw him at. Uh, he was on Fairly Odd, Odd Parents that one episode. Oh well, yeah, that's. Yeah, there he is. Wait, who? What? Hmm? Did you did you hear Sully? Did I get him? You got both those guys. Did I get him? Oh, he's scaring back at you. No, take that. So you, I think you gotta. I gotta. Well, I mean, sneak up on him. Yeah, right. Like scare him off to the like push him off. To, like in the center. Oh fuck! <laughs> he knew He's I was there. Waiting for you. Yeah, get out of here, man. Kick his ass. Push him on. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here. All right. Oh. All right. Where is he? Is he there? Is he Where looking? He He's. Is he? He's oh ah! shit! Get out of here, man. Oh my god. All right. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he saw me. He's coming back over there. Dude, just go around the building and sneak up on him. Yeah, that's a good idea. Alright. 
All right. So yeah, no, I, I, Monsters Inc. was definitely my is definitely my favorite Pixar movie, uh, and I'm bummed out that this is Monsters University. Okay. <laughs> where that? Where All is right, it? careful now. See you over there. Let's see, there he is. There is. All right, yeah. I'm sneaking. Sneak, 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 sneak. Shh. shh. Yeah, got him. Yeah, suck shit. So, uh, so yeah, and then yeah, I, I kind of like it. There's all these different uh, little touches to each different playset. Like this one, every mission shows you how your schools are competing against each other because it's kind of like a. So you have to scare people into going back to your school. Well, I think it's just like, oh, which school is the scariest? And right now we, I was winning. Now we're losing because now I'm in a new area, I guess. Yeah. Uh, like I was, I was originally at um, at Monsters University, uh, and there is a thing. I think I can just. There we go. You spawned a bike. Yes. Oh wow. So it tells you all this stuff every time you get on that, every time you restart the game, I guess, because I have already seen all that. Right. Uh, so I can go up here. I can jump. And I can do a backflip, <laughs> and then bail! Alright, here we go. You know, Matt Hoffman. <laughs> oh! Nice. All right. Nice move. So, uh, nice attempt at grinding that tree. I wonder if you can... Wow, they post the scores up there, too. I wonder if you can grind uh, something. We'll, we'll, f we'll figure this out. Grind that, that pointy fence. That never works. Picking up speed. Oh, man. <laughs> yep. All right, we're getting off this bike. And he jumps back onto the bike. He's ready for more punishment. So, yeah, that's Monsters University. Uh, I've been playing this one the most because, uh, I don't know. I like monsters. I like, I mean, I like these monsters. I mean, other monsters are okay, too. The Munsters, they're all right. <laughs> they're a good group of people. They're a family. They mean well. Uh, scare them. Oh, well, yeah, I sneak up on them. Here we go. I got money. All right, so that's uh, is is that? Is that uh? Oh, that's that's the guy who was um. That sounds so familiar. Yeah, he he's just some random guy who was like, now that you're at Fear Tech, I'm gonna have to talk to you through Walkie Talkie, and I was like, okay, okay. All right, time to quit and jump into the world of pirates. Pirates! With Captain Jack Sparrow. Johnny Depp. Come on, Johnny. Oh. Okay. There it goes. So it's detecting all the things there. Make sure we got everything. Yes. Get. Uh, so now we can jump into pirates. With, uh... Do do do? So there are two Johnny Depp characters for Disney Infinity. What do you mean? Tonto? From Lone oh, Ranger God, yeah. and Jack Sparrow. Oh god. They should just have a segment in this game where Johnny Depp, like, as Captain Jack Sparrow, talks to Tonto. That'd be really cool. Just have a conversation with himself. See, that that would be really... Man, that would be really cool, but then they would have to kind of develop new stuff for each character that's already been released, right? Mm -hmm. But that would be really sweet. Also, like, the prices of these figures aren't, like, small. Like, each individual... I would imagine so. Well, yeah, each individual figure is $13. Uh -huh. Uh, a pack of three is 30 And a new game with two figures, like a new playset uh, with uh, two figures. So the Toy Story one is 35 bucks, And there's one called Frozen that comes out in November. Uh -huh. it's, which is a new movie. Like, I've never heard of Frozen. Frozen. Uh, what is he? What? Yeah, I'm thinking, like, there's no way he, There's no way physics would allow him to slide that. One, one second, I think I can do that. One, can you? I think so. Nope, he's no. like, nah, not happening. Ah, uh, fuck it. I'm not gonna... Uh, so, one, one thing I really like about this game is there's a mission log, which I think is kind of neat. Oh, I don't want to go do that. Uh, there'll be a treasure for you. Ye will know it by the fact that your face is on it. Can ye find it? Show me. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to know it. I'm just going to be shown where it is. <laughs> Here you go. Go to point and collect. Well, I mean, like, I, I do this because there's no map. And it, you can get lost really easily in this game. So many different levels. So the thing about Captain Jack... Oh, yeah. So these treasure chests. I'm happy we came across these. 
Uh, oh, look at that. These uh, open chests are all across the world. And sometimes you can't open them. Because, because you don't have a key? You don't have the right character. A what? So, like, if that had Captain Barbosa's face on it, I, I wouldn't be able to open it until I bought a figure of Captain Bar... If I, if, until I bought... Until you, until you forked over the money to... Until I spent $13 spend, on a spend toy. Spend the money to open up the chest. Yeah, exactly. Because that character just, like... That character has to stick his whole face in the fucking lock to unlock it. That's how it, that's how it works. Pretty much, yeah. The face lock. Uh, but yeah, no, this game's really cool, and... I mean, I, man, I really like the Pirates one, too, just because it, it's Pirates. I like Pirates. I like I like Captain Jack Sparrow's running animation. It's very... It seems very his way of running. Yeah. No, they did a good job with this game. They they definitely know their stuff. Uh, but back to the combat system that we were talking about earlier. Captain Jack's is a little different, so... You have a sword? There's a sword. Yeah. Which you can also, like, do a heavy attack with if you hold it. Uh, nice. which, which I like, because then you can kind of chain up a four-hit combo. Uh, and then he also has this, which is a gun, which I was shocked. That Blunderbuss! But look, it has one of those, uh, like, orange caps on the end to show you it's not really a of gun. Of course. Uh, so this is cool. You can just shoot people. It just shoots. But you can also just it shoots, aim. It shoots Skittles. So I can just shoot these. Yep. Man, that'd be, yeah, that'd be great to have a gun that shoots Skittles. I, I bet you there's a candy gun of some sort in this Actually, game. Actually... Think about it now, probably, I don't think that would be a great idea, because Skittles are pretty hard candy. That hurts. That would kill you, man. Probably. Shot yeah. right in the eye, lose your friggin' sight. Oh, they taste um, great, but... So yeah, so th this is Pirates. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to do a couple more missions on this one, and then we'll uh, we'll call it a video. Do we want to share the we want to share the toy box, right? Uh, yeah, we will. Uh, in, in, in the next video. Oh, okay. Uh, wait, where are we? I want to show me like so. Well, oh, I guess I have to go buy one of these things then. All right, you haven't bought anything. I don't even have enough money to do that. God damn! So, oh yeah, so I forgot one more thing with the combat. Uh, so I thought this was pretty neat. Captain Jack can like block, yeah, and move left and right and forward and all that. So this is actually a pretty like, in-depth combat system. So you must have, like, into some pretty, uh... At some point, you must have, like, a swashbuckling battle with other pirates then. To me, that's what that says. Maybe. I mean, there were, like, Well, he's these, strafing like... and, like, blocking. Like, what else would that be useful for? Instead of having, like, a sword fight. He's got a friggin' gun. Uh, so do I pick him up and throw him in the water? <laughs> <laughs> he just told me to throw some dude in the water. Okay, so. I can toss that guy. <laughs> okay, well, right on. He's sleeping with the fishes now. There's a good fake Johnny Depp, though. Like, I, I think it sounds pretty alright. Wait, buy what it? happens? Can we buy that ship now? Oh yeah, I can. Uh, so it, it wanted me to access the store, I guess. So now I've got oh. the ship. Alright. What's gonna... Is it just... Oh, okay. It's gonna... A helicopter is gonna bring it in a bit. Your ship is found at the delivery platform. Cap'n? Cap'n? Uh, so... It would be weird if a helicopter would just drop it in. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see if this is the better pirate game than Assassin's Creed 4. What is this? There's my ship. Aight. Now it's in the water and it's big. It's, it's like one of those things that you put in the water and it gets bigger over three it's days. Up all the water, yeah. I remember those things. That has holes in the sail, man. How is she moving? Wait, is that my ship or is... is that the Black Pearl? No, that's not the Black Pearl, is it? Uh... I don't think so? Confetti! There we go. I got a uh, I got a coin, so that's perfect. Cause I wanted to show off those coins. Mm. Find Gibbs on your ship. We need you. On yeah, I know. You okay. just cool. you just said that. I wouldn't be surprised if I go over there to get my ship, and they're like, "Oh, you thought that was your ship? No, this is your ship." And it's like a dinghy, or it's the real size <laughs> of what we just had. 
How come the other, like, the other character in The Incredibles, like, narrate and these other characters don't? Uh, because we aren't, haven't, uh, really gone up to the, the other character yet. Where is he? These that are all, these are all fake, fake guys. That's gotta be... It's up there. Oh, okay. I found him. Oh, this Take the helm. Drive that ship. Or not. Just Some good pirate go. music. Do, 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 do. It's just swashbuckling music. It's a pirate's life. So this is the first time I've taken control of a ship. Use your cannon to clear out the entrance Quickly. so you can hit the high seas. Quickly! Shoot it. Oh, God. Wow. This is actually pretty... Hold That's... the charge. Oh, okay. Uh, it's not really doing very much. Oh, there we yeah, go. There we go. Alright. So, how do I drive this thing? <laughs> Just like a... I'm not... I'm not controlling this. That's our boat's turn. You're not? I'm not controlling at all? this at all. It's taking control of... Flick the L. Use. Oh, okay, there we go. All right. You know what? This is really hard to see. Oh man, we're we gonna. Cr All right. Oh yeah, okay. I'm controlling okay. it now. I thought I was controlling the camera with the left stick at that point. Good. Oh, oh no! Oh boy. <laughs> we got a fire on the ship. On the oh, poop fuck, deck. No! Oh man! Oh god! No, we missed it. Good. I don't oh, know where we're supposed wow. to be Oh, wow. Somebody... Who's going to put that out? Oh, there we go. We achieved success. We should visit Tia Dalma. She's the only one that can help us get the prize before there we go. Jones All right. There's, there's sound. Voices. There we go. Finally. Some pretty good looking water, actually. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. Check your map. I don't have a map. Check the, the indicator. Set the sail. Let's do, you know what, let's, let's do, uh, well, I guess we're going that way. Oh, okay, I see. So we gotta actually look at this. Kind of not the best view for sailing a ship. You know, this is, this is surprisingly, I mean, this is a very simplified version of what you do in Assassin's Creed, but I think this is pretty good. A ship captain, should we engage? Where? Yeah, let's engage it. Last oh, over there. No, we're not going over there. See that frame rate? Yes, I do. Fortunately. Alright. Oh, I'm going to take out a ship. Take a boat. This way, right? I think that's... Captain, I see life bars over Where? Wait, what? Where? What are you talking about? Oh, there. There's a couple of them. A couple small ones. We'll get him. Oh, fuck. We can hit him from here. Man the guns! Okay. Alright, hey, stop. Stop the boat. Yeah, they're shooting. Uh, okay. Dude, that looks like one of those ships from... From the Orient. Oh, God! Ship to port. Fucking Christ! Go! Just turn! Go! Firing away on us! Alright, here we go. He's turning, he's turning. Oh, go! Yeah! Yeah! Where's that other Eat it, shit, fucking Lord. shit? There we go. All right, he's coming up. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, he's fairly, getting fairly quiet. Oh, yeah! Oh, okay. Oh, come on, you piece of crap! Ah, uh, you twat! Go! There we go! Yeah! Get owned. It's pretty cool. Where's the other ship that's shooting at us now? Is there another one? I thought there was only two. Huh, I guess there is. Alright, and that's the Pirates of the Caribbean. Cool. So, I mean, like, surprisingly, you know, a lot of depth to uh, some of these games. Or all of them. But, specifically, I think the Pirates of the Caribbean one was the one that was, like... Well, I mean, e even Monsters University, I mean, there's the whole sneaking and scaring thing, and... And then the Incredibles had the, the driving and the flying. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can drive in any of them, I think. I mean, at least you can drive in uh, Monsters University, too. Uh, but, 
you know, it's I I really like Disney Infinity, and I think it's because because you're it's Disney for Disney. Yeah, it's because I like Disney Infinity. Oh, we be fighting them off. Incoming wave. Oh, that's weird. Cool. We got like a wave of them. Anyway, I'm not gonna wa I'm not gonna do this. Oh, I'm actually. Oh, wow. See that frame right there for a second? It's beautiful. Anyway, we're. To be to the code. Uh, I don't. Fuck the code. <laughs> That's what pirate code. You're bound by it. I'm no. I'm no fucking pirate. I'm gonna save and quit. Clearly not. Do, pi do pirates save and quit? Nope. Then I'm not a pirate. And so that those are the playsets. I'm still controlling. That's neat. Uh, anyway, um, that's Disney Infinity, the starter kit playset. Uh, there are playsets for Cars, uh, and the Lone Ranger. What about planes? Uh, oh no, no. So <laughs> thank God. That's crazy. That movie just came out of nowhere this past summer and didn't yeah. do anything. Yeah. Um. And then they're coming out with Toy Story. Uh. A movie called Frozen, which is a, I guess, a Christmas-themed one. Uh, and uh, there are figures for, like, Jack Skellington comes out this month. That'd be cool. Uh, and a bunch of other stuff. But no playsets for Jack Skellington, uh, which is a kind of a bummer, because that would be really neat. How do you not have a playset for Jack Skellington? I'm not sure. How? Ma he's, the f he's the star of that movie! Yeah, you know, I don't know. It's just, you just get the figure, and then you can go to Toy Box and play around. So, uh... Okay. But anyway, that's Disney Infinity. Uh, the starter kit playset. Thanks, that's, Dizzy. Yeah, thank you. Bye. <laughs>